Shrek 3. Genesis. Watch it now on iTunes before it's in theater September 7th. beginning, it, I had this image of a bride with a chainsaw, which I thought it was awesome and it was sexy and, and brilliant. And once we had that image, once it was inside my head, I couldn't take it off. I had to shoot the film. Our main goal with Rec 3 was to surprise the audience and, and, and deliver something that was unexpected for them. And that's why we decided to change the tone of the film and shifting it more into a horror, love, comedy uh, with elements of uh, dark humor, but a very romantic story. It has comedy because weddings are fun, because you, we all have a, a drunk uncle, we all have a friend who loves to flirt around with the bridesmaid, you know, there are kind of common situations we all know about. In Rec3 we decided to break with the found footage, uh, POV, uh, handheld camera style. We wanted to take the franchise to a different level. When we began to talk about Rec3 for us, uh, we always had in mind Army of Darkness and Big Trouble in Little China, that are two films that as a teenager really made a huge impression on me, going to the theater uh, to see a John Carpenter film and find out, oh, this doesn't look like a John Carpenter's film, you know, and really enjoying the ride and, and having fun with the film. And that was something we really want to, uh, to happen when people goes to a theater or, go, or is at home watching Rec3. I consider the audience as my boss. I work for them and what I want is people leaving the theater and having had a, a great time. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to bear witness to this holy matrimony, to celebrate a love that is caring, accepting, and enduring of all things. For what God has joined together, let no man tear apart. Genesis.